In Southern California, fires formerly burned in summer and often burned for a couple of months at a time, on and off, not continuously, until they would finally be put, uh, uh, extinguished by rains in, a, in the fall. Now we're restricting fires through fire suppression initial attack policies to the most extreme weather states and they are likely to be Santa Ana winds that occur during the fall months. Uh, so fires have been pushed from summer in, into the fall months. What's in store for Southern California's fire season, uh, the safest thing one can say is that it's going to be an early start uh, because the rains from last winter were only half normal. As, as a consequence, the fires uh, have already established early instead of uh, in May instead of July, June or July, and um, and we will continue to see a burning season through uh, the the onset of rains this coming winter. The relationship between the amount of rainfall of a given winter and the amount of burning that takes place the following summer is pretty much random. So it doesn't, just because it was dry last winter does not necessarily mean we're going to have a major burning year. But I can predict that those areas which are most likely to burn uh, are those which are old stands. And this is shown in this map in which those areas that have burned recently in the purples and the blues, uh, they've burned in the last 10, 20 years. They're unlikely to carry major fires in the immediate future. But those areas in the warmer colors, such as Lake Arrowhead, eastern San Bernardino Mountains, and the San, Dino, San Jacinto Mountains, which either have yellows and reds and or no color, these are areas that have not burned for 50 to 100 years, and they are next in line for the major fires that are going to occur. Huge fires are now the new normal uh, in Southern California, but they do not have to be the new normal. Uh, they are a consequence of the management practices uh, that have been uh, over the last century in, in Southern California. Uh, one consequence of suppression is to homogenize and age the vegetation fields uh, in Southern California, um, especially chaparral and, and the conifer forests of the higher mountains. And secondly, uh, the very efficient effort of putting out small fires uh, selects for major burns to take place in the most extreme weather conditions. The long-term solution to burning in Southern California is to accept uh, that fire is inevitably going to occur in these landscapes. So the saying is, uh, it's now or later. And later is a bad option, but we've been practicing later for 100 years. If we were more relaxed and had a more rational policy of turning over the fuels of Southern California in a regular way instead of through catastrophic burns, uh, we would actually have a much safer Southern California.